Welcome to another episode of Cheap and Cheerful. This week we're going back to the Indie Well with Thomas Was Alone, a 2D story-driven platformer. You won't find many games presented more simply than this. The characters are rectangles, the terrain is rectangles, and it controls with just four buttons. The puzzles are of the jumping and button pushing variety and aren't trying to break any new ground. On the surface, it may seem like something slapped together in an afternoon, but in the case of Thomas was alone, the brilliance is that less is more. Despite only appearing as different color quadrilaterals, the characters you are presented with have more personality and depth than you'll get with most photorealistically rendered characters these days. This is accomplished using both mechanics as metaphor and the nearly forgotten art of narration. Each character moves and feels different in a way that intuitively informs you of the character's personality as well as their physical state. The timid character doesn't jump as well as the perky excited one, while the huge one is slow but has another skill I won't spoil. Apply this to the whole cast and without a word spoken or written, we know a lot about who everyone is. But the place where Thomas was alone really shines and breathes life into his characters and world is the narration, and by extension the writing. We've seen some relatively recent games with great narration, and Thomas was alone is no exception. Danny Wallace's voice acting performance is sublime, and the writing is needle sharp. It immediately makes me think of Douglas Adams. If you told me that he wrote it before his death, I would have believed you. Funny yet expressive, this is the heart of the game. Just take a listen. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might, or might not, be important. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? To ice the cake and fill the gaps in narration is a soundtrack worth owning a classical electronic fusion that brilliantly captures the cold hard world while letting the raw emotion of the characters show through. Now that it's time to wrap up, Thomas Was Alone comes through aces once again by hitting the sweet spot between overstaying its welcome and ending abruptly. I call it the portal zone. You're looking at around four hours, so certainly achievable in one sitting, but with a busy schedule it could last a week. Worth noting is that two more chapters were recently added to the Steam version in a free update, called Benjamin's Flight. In the end, this is a game that made me feel emotionally connected to some rectangles, and it just makes me happy in general. Worth picking up if you don't own it, and shortlisting if you do. That was Thomas Was Alone, this has been Cheap and Cheerful. Thank you for watching, and as always, you can find more at youtube.com backslash games.